from Space Launch Complex 4 at the Kerbal Space Center, the Realistic Design Bureau is proud to bring you Delta IV Heavy launch coverage. At Space Launch Complex 4, a Delta IV Heavy rocket is fueled and ready to launch the massive com the Massacom mission for the Kerbal Space Agency. Massacom missions are designed to enhance tracking and data around Kerbin. T minus three, two, one. And lift off of the Delta IV Heavy with Massacom, beginning a new day and age in Kerbal Tracking and Data Relay. Massacom flight beginning to stabilize as the Delta IV passes through the initial launch transients. Delta IV Heavy is launching it onto a is launching Massacom 4 onto a geostationary transfer orbit with an apoapsis of 2868.75 kilometers. As we have confirmation of the gravity turn start, the gravity turn will bring the Delta IV Heavy launch vehicle out over the ocean to the west, to the east of the Kerbal Space Center. The Delta IV Heavy rocket has four, stra has three strap-on boosts, has two additional strap-on boosters, and a central core. All three powered by the REI, powered by the REM3 mainsail engine. The mainsail is pushing the Delta IV up to a geostationary transfer orbit. as the spacecraft continues to climb out of the Kerbal Space Center. Altitude is three kilometers. The spacecraft is experiencing about one G of acceleration. We have the throttle limiter put in. Spacecraft is in a nominal climb. Spacecraft is above the speed of sound. We have partial thrust command in the core. The external boosters will remain at 100% throttle. As we have partial thrust commanded in the core booster, the Delta IV Heavy is continuing to climb at a rate of 351 meters per second at an altitude of 8 kilometers. The two strap on common booster cores have about uh, one and a half minutes of fuel remaining in first in booster flight before then separating and falling into the oceans. The view from the upper stage external camera, payload external camera, and booster external camera. This view will be this view is used to confirm spacecraft flight is proceeding nominally. And we are proceeding nominally. Altitude now, 11 kilometers. Velocity, 400 meters per second. The two strap-on boosters have a little less than a minute and a half of fuel remaining. Delta IV Heavy and Atlas V-51 configurations will be used to launch massive commsats. 
There will be three of these. An Atlas V 401 configuration will be used to launch the sec the third and fourth semi-synchronous satellite, semi-synchronous orbit satellites. Craft files were provided thanks to YouTube and Kerbal Essences. Delta IV is continuing a nominal flight, half a kilometer per second, surface velocity, altitude 18 kilometers. Spacecraft is continuing in the partial thrust mode. All three boosters are continuing in the second, in the partial thrust, 76 mode. As they all throttle back up, the center booster is remaining at 50.6%. 50.5% thrust, limited, L little less than a minute remaining now in s in boost in strap-on CBC flight. The strap-on CBCs will then be separated and will fall into the ocean, thanks to the separate thanks to whoever made the sepatrons. The Atlas V continues to climb out of the Kerbal Space Center. The FASA mod provided us the Delta IV launch clamps. As we are now 28 kilometers in altitude, velocity 800 meters per second surface, increasing speed at uh, 2G's acceleration. Half a minute now remaining in common boost in second sta in strap on CBC flight. Then the strap on CBCs will then be jettisoned. Delta IV heavy launching into a geostationary orbit. These del this Delta IV mission is crucial to supporting interplanetary communications. Velocity now 1.2 kilometers per second, altitude 36 kilometers. Twenty seconds remaining in strap on CBC flight. Then we will switch over to the DCSS. Fifteen seconds remaining in strap on booster flight. The two strap-on boosters will be jettisoned in about ten in ten seconds. Spacecraft has an apoapsis of 107 kilo kilometers and will fly to an altitude of 268 kilometers, preparing for strap-on common booster core jettison. Standing by for booster, standing by for booster jettison. Separation on the boosters. Good separation on the two booster cores. Second stage, first stage engine powering up. Second stage, first stage engine at full throttle. The two common strap-on boosters have been jettisoned. 50 seconds now remaining in first stage flight. Standing by for fairing jettison. Confirmation of a clean payload fairing separation. Payload fairing separ have separated. That should say massive comsat one probe. We have a data uplink through the massive comsat orbiting just north of mission orbiting just east of mission control.
Delta IV Heavy continuing to burn its mainsail engine as the RCS comes on and we begin the roll program. The spacecraft is rolling into the correct position. Roll program terminated. Standing by for confirmation of solar panel deployment. The third massive commsat will launch in December. As we have confirmation of good solar panel deploy, the solar panels have deployed and will begin the sun track. Solar panels beginning the sun track maneuver. Standing by for strap on, standing by for center core shutdown and then separation. Shutdown on the center core. Standing by. Shutdown confirmed. Separation. RCS on. As we pull out, the upper stage of the Delta Cryogenic second stage is a Poodle engine. As we begin the rotation in preparation for the coast to apoapsis, we have poodle ignition. The first core, the first stage booster will fall back to Kerbin and be destroyed. As we continue with the coasting phase. The booster has disappeared from view as we coast to Apo Apogee. The two strap-on boosters were destroyed. Stage recovery has notified me that the two strap-on boosters were destroyed. As we now prepare for the circularization burn, We are standing by for that. We have a thousand units of liquid fuel and oxidizer remaining. We have ignition on the upper stage. Poodle engine powering up. Spacecraft is continuing with the circularization maneuver as we have shut down in order to move around Kerbin to close the communications gap in the large open areas of Kerbin space. spacecraft will continue to orbit Kerbin in its eccentric orbit until this spacecraft is directly above mission control currently.
as we prepare for the circularization maneuver. T minus six minutes to the maneuver to complete the burn. This will be a key mission satellite as this will be the satellites which all missions communicate through. The view of Kerbin is very beautiful. This is the line of communications. These are all the communications uplinks. These are all the different satellites we have orbiting current Kerbin currently. As we have confirmation of the burn, burn is performing nominally. Standing by for burn completion. The spacecraft continue will continuously Stay within a geostationary orbit close to mission control. Standing by for shutdown. Shutdown confirmed. Stability is enabled. Sat cam is enabled. Separation. Clean separation on the spacecraft. As we watch the second stage, as we watch the second stage fall away, we can switch now over to the satellite camera. We can now switch over to the SAT cam. As we fire our reaction control thrusters, in order to get a nominal orbit. as the second stage prepares for its inclination change into the graveyard. The spacecraft is put being put into a high elliptical orbit. The spacecraft second stage has been put into the graveyard orbit. And with a final view of the satellite in Kerbin orbit, I shall say this has been Andy Epics for Mission Control from Kerbal Launch Services Mission Control bringing you the live coverage of the Delta IV Heavy with 
massive with massive comsat 2 this has been andy epics for the real